We are building our dream family home here in George in the Western Cape and here is our piece of land. This has been a dream of ours for a long time and it's finally coming together. As you can see, we started digging the foundations, marking the foundations, laying the foundations and starting to build up. In this episode, we'll be throwing our slab above the scullery and entrance hall and we'll be diving into a few little windows options and how that works. I've just come to site because the window and aluminium guys are about to measure up the final windows, which is in our bedroom, which is that behind me. I'm here with Nico from um, Adu Hyper. Nico, just if you could just explain quickly, like you guys have come to measure. Yes. Um, I mean, it's pretty obvious why it's important. Do you want to just give us an overview? Just come and make sure 100% that all the windows are actual, not according to size. So some of the builders make it smaller while they're busy building. So we just come make 100% sure that everything's according to size. So on the table over here, we've got our plans. I want to show you how the architect actually marks all of the windows and how they sort of laid out on the plans. Let's have a look. So everything you see here with a D in front of it, that's a door. Everything with the W in front of it is a window. So you'll see window one is marked. There's two window ones, right? So window one, window one. Go to the, if you go to the other sort of schedule, yeah, then you'll see this is window one and this is in our scullery. So 910 centimeters from the floor, the window starts and the actual window total height is there and the width of the window is there. So this is called a window and door schedule. This gets sent on to the guys doing the windows and then they reference this overall plan to see where everything's laid out. They look at these measurements and then they do final measurements as you've just seen in the video. Check out this. Oh, guys, we're gonna have the most incredible view in our bathroom. Look at this. That's all right. It's not gonna be so bad. Looking out of that every day. Um, and we're actually not gonna look onto anyone potentially, so we're gonna leave that open. We've got the steel guys busy doing their form work because we're gonna be casting the upper slab above the kitchen and um, utility room behind me. So. You'll see there, um, the guys have prepared all the shuttering and then they've laid all the steel on top of all that shuttering and then we're going to do a concrete pour again um, and that'll be our last pour for the project. So we did our surface beds pour, we did our <coughs> slab, main slab pour for these rooms and now we're doing the last little bit at the top. But yeah, so it's all going well. It's going to be a magic space, man. I can't wait for this to be finished. I'm getting so excited. <laughs> Okay, so today's been quite the day. This is the longest I've been on site for um, in any single day. The reason is that we've got our electrician here um, and I just wanted to make sure that where I want, where my lighting is gonna go um, that I was happy with. I'll just show you, so underneath, yeah, down there's our entrance hall and we're putting down lights. So just how many down lights do we want? Where do we want them placed? Um, even though we've kind of specified already in the plans that we want down lights, it's good that I can make those decisions. The other issue we've had today is the roof. Um, it's actually quite complicated. The guys that design the roof, um, they're going through the final phase of designs for the roof to get materials sorted and stuff. And, oh man, it's been a bit tricky. So basically, this from this wall onwards, there, that is all inside, right? So our windows are gonna run there. So this section here is all gonna be outside. So this slab that you see there, probably should have ended over there. So between the architect, the engineer, and the builders, we've ended up with a slab that's this this long. The office underneath, the wall is actually, the wall of the office is only about there where my foot is. So this is essentially redundant space. So the big issue though, is that we're gonna be having like a little roof, external roof to keep the rain out, you know what I mean? Like along this section. And on the plans, it shows that that slab, the roof should be coming all the way out to this section, which means that we're gonna have a much bigger roof coming outside the house. And from our perspective, I'm saying, look, I really don't want that because if we're inside, let me just show you, these views are like the most important part of the house. If I just turn around, you'll see. So yeah, I'm in the kitchen. Now you can imagine if you've got like a long roof coming down, it's gonna cut those mountains off like that, right? So we definitely wanna pull that back and put it as high as we can so it's out the way. Um, and that's kind of the discussion today, which means they have to change a few plans and it's okay. Uh, it's just these decisions, it's like decision fatigue. I think self-building like this, a lot of decisions to be made. And I'm sure even if you're doing a plot and plan or you're working with another builder, you're gonna have to make decisions like this all the time. So we've got a basin outside by the braai and the plumbers try to chase it up against the wall, as you can see. And I said to the guys, that's gonna be exactly where my TV is gonna go. I'm gonna drill into the wall and there's going to be water everywhere so please chase it under the ground which they did so that was something i had to pick up 
I also actually got a bit of spray paint and just helped the electrician out to avoid any assumptions where I want my plugs, uh, even though he had the plan. And there is me with the yellow spray paint going for it. We just had a nice weekend break and back on site today. And the concrete truck I thought was only coming at 11 is actually meant to be coming first thing in the morning. So I quickly rushed to get here. This is actually the concrete slab roof of the entrance hall. And that, that down there is our utility room. And I just wanted to show you guys how they actually put in the down lights. So you know those like GU10 lights, the down lights? I've always wondered how they put it through the concrete. There's lots of steel and thick, thick concrete. The concrete, the slab is gonna be as thick as that wall. So this all gets filled with a lot of concrete. Um, and that obviously binds there. Yeah, you'll see we've got double layer of steel. So the down lights, um, I was here with the electrician. I just kind of marked out with them where I want all these down lights. And you can see, yeah, we've got two, four, six down lights inside and then two down there. It's quite interesting what they do. Um, you can't really see now, but you'll see that there's a round pipe. They put like a big round fitting like that. And that goes all the way to the bottom of the shutter board. So the shutter board holds up the concrete while it sets. They cut that through and then they put sand inside. When they remove this bo bottom board, from underneath the concrete after 23 days once the concrete set then all that sand comes out and then they can put the footing in it's quite quite clever but obviously now they have to connect all of them so all the wiring is done as well and then there's the you'll see there's a guest bathroom with the two down lights there and then we've got one just normal light in our utility room we've got this whole this whole beam it's gonna this beam yeah it carries the weight of the roof and that's gonna be a lot of, you'll see how much concrete's gonna go in there to bind that whole section up. And we've got our two steel columns as well that have now come that will be inside the property that will meet the sliding doors. Okay, so I'm not writing in a card. This is no one's birthday. This is actually a little bit of a note that we each one of us wrote to describe what we want the house to be. We, it's almost like a prayer. We want people to come into our home and feel loved and yeah, just, just feel that love, right? So we put this little note above the entrance hall, in, bound into the concrete, that as people walk in, it'll be there. Um, something very, very special. You'll see there where the arrow is. Okay, then it is now time onto the pour. We had our pump coming in, um, the concrete truck, and we started pouring the little slab um, that you'll see here next to the kids' room. So that's the little slab we started pouring there. Um, always a fun day when you're pouring concrete. Um, so yeah, you can see that slab above the stairs is busy being poured. Then we moved on to the scullery. As you can see, the guys here moving. And yeah, um, a lot of activity, <laughs> super fun. And yeah, there's the note covered up. We've just had uh, two concrete trucks come and deliver the first bit of concrete. Now we're waiting for the last one to arrive. And let me show you, let's go upstairs. I'll show you what they're doing. Um, Woo! There we go. They're busy, um, they're busy like just setting the concrete here. Yeah? He has a concrete pillar that they've started. So we're just waiting for the other truck to come and then they'll, once the other truck's here, they'll pump the rest in, which is cool. Okay, the concrete truck came back and we managed to finish up the pour. Um, really, really exciting day. We were very happy. The kids were excited to be part of this one and that note just topped it off. You'll see on day 147, it's all looking like it's setting nicely, starting to set. And this will cost 29,986 Rand. Okay, I feel like I owe you a bit of an explanation. It's been a long time since I've uploaded these YouTube videos. And I know I've mentioned on Instagram that things have been a bit stressful and they have been. <laughs> um, finishing off the build has been very hectic. I am a little bit delayed on the editing. So I'm working hard on that. Um, the main thing that happened really was that our business crashed during the build and it's been quite hectic. Um, I've had to prioritize where I put my time, so I've put that a lot into reviving our business. And the good news is these early signs of life, which is great. I am super committed to build with Tim, just so you know. And um, now that there's a sense of normality, I'm going all in at editing, so please come back, subscribe. Another thing is that in the link below, you'll see that I've created this free guide. It's a building versus buying guide, looking at the pros and cons of each, because there is pros and cons of each. Um, if you want that, click the link below, absolutely free. You can download that. Thanks so much for your support. Without your interest, I wouldn't be doing this. Um, stay tuned, there is more coming. I can't wait to 
sort of show you where we're ending up going and it's, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm.